so all right okay so we're trying to explain uh yeah and see how git annex actually works so uh at first let's create a project in gitlab for example movies uh one two three because i'm not sure if movies exist already uh, so right now it behaves like a simple git repository uh yeah creating bay repo um yeah let's make a first push uh as far as no difference uh between yeah gitlab without git annex and with git annex support so mm -hmm. it behaves the same way and yeah, we have we have a files. And at certain point you like yeah, I need a big binaries in my repo. So what I do, I want to install uh git annex locally. Yeah, it's installed. Yeah, like it's already yeah. installed. It just was like mm -hmm. uh yeah, it's operation. And yeah, I actually need to in it uh, uh, git annex locally and what it does it actually create uh, annex directory in uh, dot git directory and it also uh, creates uh, annex UID for this repository so uh, each git repository with git annex in it has own UID. So it's yeah, it's distributed. So everyone has own key. And at certain point, I want to just uh, copy some big files to this repo. Um, yeah. So here is my uh, 50 megabytes helicopter video, uh, and instead of git add as we usually do we just do git annex add for helicopter and it added as a sim link to git annex uh, objects directory so actually uh, what you have into your git repo is not a uh, 50 megabytes file but a lightweight sim link to the object it git annex directory and we can just uh, commit this change as usual git commit and it will be just a sim link to the annex object uh, yeah of course I want to get my binaries to the GitLab server so I just type git annex sync uh, which actually exchange with GitLab information about synced files, but I also want to push a big helicopter video, which right now stored only on my machine. So I add dash dash content. What it does right now, uh, it will do git pull, git push with GitLab instance, and after this, it will upload helicopter uh, using rsync to the GitLab server into the same place of the repository, but under uh, annex directory. So, yeah, we actually have helicopter video in repository, and uh, we have see in GitLab shell that it sends git annex shell commands. Uh, we still, uh, yeah, let's wait for my VM uh, to load. Yeah, the actual uh, project size is uh, small, uh, but uh, inside a bay repo, uh, inside NX directory, it's this 50 megabytes file. And let's assume that there is a new guy in the team who want to get my repo. Mm -hmm. So let it be Bob. 
yeah. And he like, okay, I want uh, to work on movies repo with you. So he just cloned the repo. And it cloned extremely fast, uh, assuming that you have uh, videos, yeah? Because it doesn't actually clone uh, the file. Yeah, the file. It's mm -hmm. just uh, a sim link. Mm -hmm. And you're like, okay, that's cool. Uh, let me. Uh, sync with git annex. So I want actual file. I want to watch a movie here. And I get a sync, so I get information from uh, annex uh, branch, yeah, mm -hmm. from GitLab. And now I just can git annex get helicopter. And it downloads from GitLab. Mm -hmm using yeah faster sync which is really nice and I actually have the real file right now which is 60 megabytes okay so yeah th that's how it's working uh, you see a lot of git shell uh, git annex commands in GitLab shell log mm -hmm. uh, you uh, do uh, you yeah, actually uploading file and downloading of files. Uh, yeah, inside GitLab shell, uh, it was integrated really simple way. So, uh, when you parse, parse command, uh, it depends on if it's a regular git command or git annex shell command and you just uh, treat it uh, arguments in different way mm -hmm. so that's the only difference like how git annex pass arguments and what amount of arguments it passes okay and the difference in processing command is also minimal so uh, it's also only about the arguments so okay. execution is absolutely the same and the good thing is that that's it okay like Okay, so basically GitLab shell just calls git annex on the file system. Yeah. And that's there's nothing else to do. <laughs> yeah, like so basically if I if I add to the package um uh, git annex and contain it into the in the environment, the package environment, um I don't have any other additions to Yeah, the only thing that you actually need to have on the system is available git annex shell uh, call, yeah? So yeah. you should able to run it from the shell, so. Okay, but, okay. Like, that's it. Awesome.